All around the world, there are nations with citizens carrying out their lives, and depending on where and when they lived, their country has established laws that protect and allow them to express themselves. However, some unfortunate souls find themselves in a place and time where the line between protection and control is nowhere to be found. For the sake of people's personal freedoms, systems of government that are tyrannical in nature should be replaced with a system of government with more democratic principles. Should anyone be unfortunate enough to find themselves under the rule of a tyrant, they should first work on overthrowing the government with a revolution. Second, if the theocracy is based on religion, they should separate religion from state. Thirdly, they should implement some form of democracy to replace the old government. This is to ensure that no one in society is limited because of their age, gender, sexual orientation, or political preference. While all this sounds good on paper, most people aren't revolutionaries. Unfortunately, most people are just caught in the middle of the conflict. This was the case for Marjane, who went through many challenges being a girl in 1980s Iran. During this era, there was a cultural revolution in Iran, which shifted the power from the more progressive Shah of Iran to religious leaders who imposed Islamic law. This shakes Marjane's world as she is first forced into a segregated all-girls school. Then she is forced to wear a veil to cover her face with all the other girls. Eventually, as the state of the country deteriorates, Mara Jane and a few of her family members are forced to flee the country for fear of persecution and general safety. Throughout the novel, Mara Jane shows many examples of disdain for her circumstances under the rule of the Islamic Republic. Our first encounter is early in the novel as Mara Jane reflects on her negative feelings towards the veil. The first step to a better way of life would be to overthrow the current tyrant. But why would anyone want to overthrow a dictatorship? The goal of a dictatorship is control. This is usually done by enforcing a police state and restricting the personal rights of its citizens. This is the situation Mara Jane found herself in as she is limited in her society with freedom of speech, freedom of expression, and education. A violent revolution is almost always out of the question. Because of the grip the government has on the people, access to weapons or the ability to organize is extremely difficult. A study done by Erica Chenoweth and Maria J. Stephen found that nonviolent resistance is twice as likely to succeed because it presents less moral and physical involvement. Also, a violent insurgency is rarely justifiable on strategic grounds. By putting oneself in a morally higher position than their opponent, they have a greater chance of gaining more support for their goal. After a tyrant is overthrown, a democratic system of government should be imposed to allow the people to decide on how they want to be governed. When people live under oppression, they are more likely to create and maintain a system of government that allows them to decide on how they want to be ruled while also preventing any further violations to basic human rights. A democracy would be a better system of government if the citizens desire a checks and balance system with their government. Democracies understand that one of their prime functions is to protect such basic human rights as freedom of speech and religion, the right to equal protection under the law, and the opportunity to organize and participate fully in the political, economic, and cultural life of society. Should one find themselves in a situation like Marjane's where the tyrant is more of a religious leader, a separation of religion and government should be implemented. A separation of religion and state allows the citizen to choose their religion or not to choose without any fear of persecution. A separation of religion and state ensures that both can be regulated by the people and both government and religion respect each other. A separation also ensures that religion may not be used to influence students in public schools, unlike the way it was used to influence Marjane. While most people may think of oppression or poverty when thinking of a dictatorship, there are some who refute these notions. Some people believe that a dictatorship may be just as successful as a country with a democracy. The reasoning behind this thought is that dictatorships have the potential to become innovative powerhouses because decisions are made by one individual rather than being voted on or going through a checks and balance process. While surely the potential for rapid innovation is there, is one individual having control over thousands or even millions worth it? Is putting your personal freedoms at jeopardy worth the possibility of faster innovation? Is putting the word of God before the rights of man ethical when the word of God may allow people to be subjected to cruel treatment? 
Or is equality and freedom the right way to go? Would you take the time to vote on a decision to be sure it's the right decision?